Thank you to Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. for sponsoring this video. Hey kids, you like snacks? Cause our sponsors at Sakura Co. and Tokyo Treat got you covered. Sakura Co. and Tokyo Treat started with the endeavor to bring you delicious Japanese snacks straight from the land of the rising sun right to your face. And I intend to enjoy them. With a subscription to Tokyo Treat, you get a monthly pop Japanese snack box that will get you up to 20 of the latest exclusive limited edition and seasonal flavored Japanese snacks that are only available in Japan for a limited time. Like these delicious cookies and cream Kit Kats. Mmm, suberashi. I can wash it down with this delicious pineapple juice because Tokyo Treat's theme this month is Okinawa Seaside Snacking. Ah! That's good pineapple juice. And with Sakurako, you get a monthly authentic Japanese snack subscription box. Sakurako is supporting local Japanese snack makers. Each box comes with up to 20 traditional, authentic, and artisanal Japanese snacks, including Japanese teas. And special Japanese tableware. Sakura Ko's theme this month is the heritage of Nico. Ooh, Kazukiri. I can see why this needed chopsticks. That's really refreshing. So whether you're buying it for yourself, your friends, your family, or whoever, Sakura Ko and Tokyo Treat are here to make your summer a lot better. So thank you once again to Sakura Ko and Tokyo Treat, and don't forget to use the code Team Four Star at checkout to get five dollars off your first order. Evening. What the here are you doing, Hell? I mean, you know what I mean. Pretty sure that's my line you just flubbed. Are you messing with my trash cans again? Your garbage doesn't concern me, you agonizing aphid. It's your garage. Now let me in. The only thing inside there is Super Comic Guru. Wait, is that why you want in? A midnight rendezvous? It's the folds, isn't it? Ugh. My father's inside here, and I demand to know why. You know, part of me wants to go back to bed and let you sweat this one out of my lawn, but another part of me wants to see where this goes. So... Mother! Nobody's here. Nobody important. I don't understand. I saw my father clear as day. In the middle of the night. I swear he should be here. Is this gaslighting? Am I being gaslit? If I were gaslighting you, you'd never know it. Is that gaslighting? Shut up! He's in here somewhere. So either help me search for him or leave me to my investigation. Father! Oh, the only things in here are tools, gardening supplies, and as I said, Super <coughs> Kami <coughs> Guru. Where would your dad even be? The fat one, of course! Give me my daddy! Yeah, good luck with that. He sleeps a minimum of 12 hours. Until then, he will not wake up! Where did you go? Do people actually disappear in here? Is this place haunted? Can hell be haunted? Ah! What the heck? None of the bodies in here are my father's! Of course not! Look, I don't know if that egg-shaped head of yours is finally cracked, but it's definitely scrambled! This is just a garage, slash his bedroom. No, I'm telling you, my father went in here, and he never came out. Something's amiss. Why, do you think he's hiding behind this bag of soil? Oh, 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 maybe our lawnmower, huh? Or maybe he's hidden himself behind this power breaker, huh? I, I... Okay, that's different. Haha! <laughs> I knew it. I knew you were hiding something. One, not hiding anything. Two, still think this is gaslighting. Let me see here. Four digits. Try 8008. Shut up, you boob. It's obviously my birthday. First day of the first year of the galactic calendar. 0001. I feel your judgment. Are you still there? Mm-hmm. Shut up! Is this all just your elaborate trap? Yes, because obviously I dressed as your father so I could lure you into here and have you all to myself in the dark. So you admit it! Have you ever heard of sarcasm? Oh no! I've never heard of sarcasm before! <sighs> Turning on the lights! Ah! 
Give me some warning. I actively did. What's going on here? Yeah, seems like they gave Guru a security system. Uh, I suspect we'll be here until the ogres come looking for us. You're saying I'm trapped in this sweat locker with you and the giant green gastropod? I would rather die. Shut up. Let me see that blasted pad. Zero, 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 two. Zero, 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 three. Zero, zero, zero. Are you really this dense? What? Lord and Piccolo, there are letters on the numbers, Freeze. Okay, move. Okay, let's try this. H F I L. Ha! F R Z A. G U R U. Ha! I don't know what you're so smug about. Your paranoia got us stuck in here. And now I'm the one suffering for it. Just sit on your side. If I truly am to suffer, let it be in silence. Sounds perfect. Oh my god, please say something! Yeah, not much silence to suffer in, is there? Shut up! Just ask me something, I don't know. All right. Ever seen Caddyshack 2? I don't know what that is. Good, I wouldn't wish it on you. Uh, okay, what do you do in your free time? An emperor never has free time. For dying out loud, what is your damage? Excuse you? Your whole I'm the emperor of everything thing. You're in hell, you're never coming back, and the whole galaxy has moved on. So why do you even bother now? Spoken like the small-minded bug that you are. I am the master of my destiny, and as long as there is an eternity, I will endure it only on my terms. You've resigned yourself to doing good for whatever little that's worth. But I do not resign, nor do I compromise. I conquer, I control, and I... Complain! All of the time! For someone who's large and in charge, you sure spend most of your time acting like a petty little child. You'll want to talk. You've acted like you're better than everyone since the moment you set squeaky foot down here. The perfect being my wiggly white tail. The moment you realized you're stuck here like the rest of us, you gave up. Ah, as opposed to you, who trounces about living a fantasy. You're not emperor of anything down here. And eventually, your subjects are going to realize that. Uh, what then, hmm? Then I'll remind them why I was Lord Freezer to begin with. Sure you will. Somehow silence is actually worse. God, you're right. Think he's okay? Do you actually care? No. You really think you're going to get out of here? I mean, they're gonna come searching for us when we don't show up for group. No, I meant here. The home for infinite losers. Do you really believe you can do good, graduate, and then go to heaven? Would you believe me if I told you I hadn't really thought about it that much? Easily. What about you? What if you really did become Emperor of the Afterlife? Simple. I force those fools to return me back to life, find the Dragon Balls, wish myself immortal, and then blow this place up for good measure! But how would you get back here if you're immortal? I'll find a way. Well, you're gonna have a hero of an uphill battle. You know, even Vegeta's a Super Saiyan now, right? Yes, I know. He never shut up about it. No, but for like realsies this time. Oh. Well, I'll find a way to deal with a measly Super Saiyan. Cool. What about the level beyond that? What, like a super duper saiyan? Y yes That's stupid. Yeah, well, it's what killed me. Ha! <laughs> Hardly a boast. Well, guess we'll see. What were you talking about? Hmm? You and my father, what were you talking about? Die Hard. What? What is that? What even is that? A series of Earth movies. You're serious? What is the deal with you two anyway? The deal? Yeah, I mean, he's clearly in charge of you. Hard to be Emperor when Daddy's obviously giving the orders. I'll have you know he put me in charge of our entire empire. So, you're in charge because he says so. You... What would you even know about family? Despite the fact that you've got more DNA in you than a space college shower drain, you don't actually have a real father. I'm going to sleep. 
What? No pithy quip for that one, hmm? Nope. You win. Good night, Lord Freezer. Aye. <clears throat> No, I'll wake up. I won't be in the tube forever. Ah, oh, God, oh. give me some warning! There you are, Princess. What in the world are you two doing in here? Yeah, I was looking for you. I saw you out here last night. Princess, I was doing my nightly patrol. People have been sneaking out past curfew the last couple of weeks. But I never saw you come out. Of course I did. I just walked behind the house. You must have missed me. Oh. Uh, how about them shutters, though? Guru asked me to install a security system ever since he got tipped. My man. <laughs> All right, you two! Oh, oh you, you got... No, I... Where is this is getting silly. You've already missed the morning's events! Now come with us to the arena. We have a very special announcement after the credits. Uh, the what exactly? But, Daddy... I'll catch up. I just need to reset the system. Hurry along, Princess. Uh... So, the credits. Yeah, we always have a scene after Zim. It's amazing how many people miss those. Welcome, everybody! Thank you for joining me on this beautiful morning. Now, I'm sure you're wondering why I instructed the Ginyus to build this magnificent arena. Finish it in 18 hours! Best time! Best time for what? Arena building! Zoo! <laughs> yes, well done to you all! Now, Yemma has decided, at my recommendation, that we host a preeminent event leading up to the upcoming Other World Tournament to show the growth, solidarity, and teamwork of this fine community. And so, I would like to officially announce the first, and hopefully not last, Hell Games! Can I sue somebody in hell? There are enough lawyers. These games will take place one month from today, but it wouldn't be much of a show of teamwork if we pitted you up against each other. So, we've decided to make this an inter tournament. He wouldn't. And so, in preparation, we'd like to welcome the ambassadors from one of your neighboring hivels! Hello, brother. Yarr, mateys! 